The public debate over same-sex marriages kept on simmering today. In Montreal, some members of the gay community carried placards on the steps of the downtown Notre Dame Basilica, denouncing the Roman Catholic Church's campaign against such unions. And the church's side of the argument was delivered from pulpits in Ontario. More now from CTV's Jet Kahane. At St. Michael's Cathedral, Sunday Mass included something other than the usual prayers. A document recently issued by the Vatican. A message of opposition to same-sex marriage and a plea to politicians to think hard about voting to allow it. They have the freedom of conscience to vote and make their decision before God. Among parishioners, the idea politicians should put their faith first was well received. They should stand by what they believe in the church. It's, it's a, a moral issue. It's also none of the church's business, according to many of the hundreds of thousands of people who gathered for Montreal's Gay Pride Parade, including many couples anxiously waiting to say, I do. We never ask permission to be married in their church. We ask them to leave us alone to live our lives like citizens. Not surprisingly, those celebrating here have little time for the church's admonitions or for church officials trying to sway politicians by raising the specter of eternal damnation for those who support same-sex marriage. That's what Calgary's bishop did earlier this week. They may very well be risking, in the sight of God, uh, their eternal salvation. A view greeted with disdain by many here. According to the Catholic Church, they are going to bear, burn in hell. I would say that that's God's business and they should let God deal with it. The rest, they hope, will be decided by politicians. Several joined this parade to offer their support. I think it's also important as a federal member of parliament to show that, you know, there are members of parliament who are very, very uh, open and welcoming. The question is how many are not and how many more will be swayed by what's being said here. Jed Gahan, CTV News, Montreal. The unity of the world's 77 million Anglicans could be shaken by the appointment of an openly gay bishop. Anglicans in the United States, known as Episcopalians, took a controversial step in that direction today. A body made up of clergy and lay people voted two to one at their general convention to confirm the appointment of the Reverend Jean Robinson as Bishop of New Hampshire. There will be another vote Monday by bishops. Some Episcopalians believe electing a gay bishop or approving same-sex marriage could tear the church apart.